true most powerful book that Africa ever had. Welcome to Honest Africa Initiative. My name is Israel Gunis Balogo, and today I want to call your attention to two most powerful book that is in the hand of almost 90 percent of Africans. If you are not holding Quran, you are holding Bible. These two books also profess to be book of law. They profess that this book comes from God. As a matter of fact, the two books said God dictate every word in it to man. But the question that African has not be able to ask and to demand for an answer is that why is it that these two books have become the major tools in the hand of the teachers? to explore the mind, the resources of the people. These two books has made me not to keep friend with a neighbor because he believe in reading Quran when I believe in reading Bible. These two books has made us to be more of enemy than more of family. Is this two book are the reason behind all this problem? I disagree. And I said these two books are not evil on their own. But men who happen to be the teachers of the books had used the book to manipulate and tell people and make people to turn against themselves. Africa, I come today to you and I ask you this question. Why would God give you mind and logic and he does not want you to use them when it comes to issues that relate with these two books? The ones who teaches you these books are the one who does not want you to discover their manipulations. Today, not a part of Nigeria is boiling basically because some people believe that others are infidel today a Christian brother cannot bring a Muslim sister home and the reason is simple it's not because they don't love each other it's not because their value system does not fall each other it's not because they are not interested in each other but because of their religion differences today a Christian cannot bring a brother home a Muslim brother home just because they have religion differences and these two people claim to serve one God they claim to serve one God but the God you believe through Jesus cannot be true God why the Muslim believe the, the God you believe through Jesus cannot be true God Christian believe if you believe in Quran you cannot be a son of God why exactly and who exactly is lying to who? Somebody must be deceiving us somewhere. And that's why I am willing to question all these things. I want to have this question of you. I want to have this question from you. Who is lying to us? God is love. God is just. God is truth. Those three things are the basis of God. If you are listening to me today, and anybody has told you that your neighbor is your enemy because they don't believe in your religion tell them today humanity first before religion humanity first for the fact that my neighbor is a human being it doesn't matter what your religion is i am your brother you are my brother i am your sister you are my sister we are all brothers we are all sisters it doesn't matter what our belief it doesn't matter what our religion means it doesn't matter what we have chosen to be our belief. We are brothers, we are sisters. The next time we have opportunity to talk again on this platform, don't forget to share this video. Invite as many as possible to follow me on my social media platform, Honest Africa Initiative. And I'll see you. God bless you. Shalom.